walk away My heart drops to the floor They said it could be easier But I don't know who for Days move fast and now I swear I feel them slip away But some things last forever The love that never fades Saturday before Easter and we are gonna have what I would like to call a fun filled day I just kind of want to do some festive things tomorrow Sunday on Easter we are heading out to my sister's house our family's gonna go there the kids are gonna be able to get together we're gonna do the you know traditional Easter egg hunts and have food and all that stuff but I figure since today is a day that we're gonna spend as our immediate family that we do something or try to start having little traditions ourselves. And obviously, dyeing Easter eggs is one of them. This will be the first time Ezzy's ever dyed Easter eggs, just because for the longest time, you know, I kind of tend to go towards the non-toxic living route. And I just had never gotten around to doing like the natural dyeing process. But today I decided we should do some Easter egg dyeing because I have a more natural dye. It's from the brand, I think it's Watkins. They sell it at Sprouts. I bought it actually for some homeschooling like science project that me and Ezzy did a couple weeks back. But I figured we could utilize that for just dyeing eggs. We don't eat the eggs anyway, so I figured she could just enjoy the process of dyeing them and just, you know, have that that moment and experience. That's what I was thinking. We're going to head to the farmer's market here in a little bit. I just need to clean the kitchen because we just finished having breakfast. We have pancakes and eggs, and I made more of like a, whole, a healthier pancake. I used whole wheat flour, and I used coconut sugar instead of regular sugar, and it actually was really good. Ezzy and Nathan are upstairs right now and getting dressed. I got dressed early on because I knew I had cleaning to do and I just wanted to be ready for the day. So we're going to make a few stops to get ready for tomorrow as well and we are going to... That's why we're going to the farmer's market. I want to get a lot of fresh fruit, a lot of fresh veggies. We've been eating fresh fruit each morning and it's been so good like i love it i it's been very helpful for all of us i feel very good i have it with warm lemon water with a little bit of salt sea salt and it makes me feel good it makes my i feel like i'm more energized in the morning and then i can wait a while before you know having my coffee Ezzy is very she's much slower to start begging for breakfast and after we do have breakfast she's 
good for such a long period of time before she starts begging for snacks so it's just been really nice but that means we have to buy more fruit because we're eating literally a bowl of like fruit bowls each morning hopefully we can find some good stuff at the farmers market we did start like getting our garden going our small little garden here really excited about it we have some strawberries we have tomato we have um, romaine lettuce spinach cucumber so hopefully all that goes well because I do want to add more excuse me I do want to add more um, we just have to you know purchase some more bags and soil and all, all the things yeah this is a long intro <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and get to these dishes and then we're gonna just enjoy the day it's a beautiful day we're gonna have a high of 74 today and I just feel like it's the perfect weather to be outdoors and like you know just getting all the sun and vitamin d and good vibes so welcome to the vlog subscribe down below if you're new follow me on instagram if you're not already where i do more homemaking content and let's get on with this beautiful saturday market did we had a good farmers market go got some good stuff I'm gonna do a haul oh how cute I have a little picnic or something all dressed in their Easter stuff um, I'm gonna do a farmers market haul when we get back home but we ended up having to stop at sprouts to get a you know a few things that the farmers market didn't have mainly apples and then what else did we get there some chips the CFA chips that we were running out of we got more uh, more raw milk because I just need a bit more to last the week because we have our large grocery haul for the month coming at the end of next week. So we just need something for this week um, starting, you know, Monday. And then uh, eggs because I already shared my dilemma with the farmer's market eggs being not what I want. So I've been getting eggs, um, the Vital Farms eggs from the store. So we had to get a few cartons of those. And Nathan needed some shampoo and some sweet potatoes, just small, small little things, honestly. But then we went to the Dollar Tree. Oh, I did get some champagne because I thought I was, I went back in to get cash back because I needed to put into the eggs for tomorrow for the kids to, to do an Easter egg hunt. So I realized I forgot to get cash back, which at this point has been a waste of my life because I ran back in there. I was gonna grab a basil plant, but they were looking a little janky, so I left it. And then I was just gonna walk out and grab like a little candy or something on the way out. But I remember I was like, oh, maybe I wanna have a little bit of champagne later, me and Nathan. And so I was like, let me just grab a bottle of champagne, get cash back. So that's what I did. But then, of course, I only got a few. I only needed a few dollars because I'm gonna do like a one dollar in each, like gold egg, because there's four kids. So I figured at least having four would be best, so that I mean, we're, I'm not limiting the kids to only one dollar egg, but it's just like at least with four, if all of them, all of them were to find one, it's even. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I put five dollars cash back and left not remembering that I needed five ones, not a five. And she gave me a $5 bill and I was already halfway through the parking lot and I was like, oh my gosh, what a dumb mistake. But I just, you know, I was like, well, we're going to Dollar Tree next, so I'll just ask them if I can have five ones. And mind you, um, I've been transferring money. So I don't 
I don't keep my money in a specific account. I've been transferring it over. I feel like it's just helpful for me to limit my spending. It's a lot easier to just swipe your card, you know? So I try to be mindful and keep it in an account where I would have to transfer it in order to use it and it keeps me mindful of how much I'm spending, how much I have in my account, all that kind of stuff. And I thought I had enough transfer. So I get into Dollar Tree, buy these four of these little guys, and go to check out. I asked him first, like, hey, can I have five ones? He's like, oh no, um, cause we're low on change, very annoying. And I was like, okay. And so I swipe my card and then I'm like running out cause he was like, do you want through the seat? I was like, no, I'm fine. So I'm walking out and I'm almost out the door. He's like, your cart was declined. I was like, oh, I didn't have all the, I didn't have enough money transfer. I thought I did. I mean, maybe those champagne came up to more than I thought or whatever. So my phone was left in the car. There's a line behind me and I'm like, great. So I just used the $5 that I got from cash back to buy these eggs. So basically I bought a bottle of champagne for no reason because I bought it to get cash back, got the wrong change, <laughs> going to Dollar Tree to get these eggs to put the cash in the eggs and then needed to use the cash to get the eggs. Hot mess. <laughs> I can't, I can't, but I'm trying to woosa and not let these little things irritate my soul. So there's my little um, Aaron running story. Bye. So we're back. I got, oh, great. Some strawberries. Those fucking strawberries. Got some broccolini. Ginger root. Lemons. I want to make some lemonade right now. So we're going to, I'm going to get Ezzy's lunch going and then make some lemonade. Then got some Brussels sprouts, and potatoes, and then there was a little tea stand. So I grabbed some organic matcha. This one, he said it's straight from Japan and it's ceremonial grade, really high quality. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then I also grabbed some golden milk. I used to make this on my own um, from scratch when Ezzy was really young, but life got in the way, I guess, and I just haven't made it. But he had this, and I'm really excited to start just adding this back into my diet and Ezzy's diet. I think it'll be just really good. Get that extra ginger and turmeric. And then for myself, I got this one. It is a female wellness tea, basically. It has dandelion root, nettle, red clover blossoms, rose hips, and hibiscus. So I'm gonna start adding this into my diet to help try to balance my hormones. So that's what we got from the farmer's market. The rest of the stuff there was just from the grocery store and the store.
Nope, we just finished with our egg painting. We didn't even dye any eggs because Ezzy wanted to paint every egg and she painted them all within two seconds. So it was just, I could have got more eggs and I was worried that getting a dozen was too many. But anyway, we did finish. We just put them in this basket. Ezzy, go take your socks upstairs. Um, we put them in this basket. And I'm very proud of mine. I did this one. And it has a little butterfly and clouds and the sun and grass. It's so cute, isn't it? And then I did this striped one right here that came out. That was my first one and then I got inspired. <laughs> the rest, this one's Nathan's over here with the big H. And then pretty much all the rest is Ezzy's. <laughs> his whack uh, striped one right here, that's his. He just copied me anyway. But um, the rest are Ezzy. Literally, me and Nathan did a couple and Ezzy did all the rest. Huh. <laughs> did, you, did you enjoy? Oh my gosh! Did you enjoy egg painting? Uh -huh. A lot of fun, I huh? Canvas oh yeah, she painted her canvas too because she was just going through the egg so quick that we had to improvise. So she drew. I drew this little butterfly for her, but she made a colorful sun, the rainbow, and people. Is that us? All three of us? This is Auntie. This is Daddy. This is me, this is you, mm -hmm. and this is, um, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> only Jade? <laughs> Why do you have three three other cousins? You only drew Jade? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah, so there's that. Right now, we're, making we're getting ready to make our lemonade. So, I'm going to be making a simple syrup with um, actually a honey and cane sugar simple syrup. So I'm gonna do half and half. So we need a full cup of water. And I'm just gonna do half honey and half cane sugar because I didn't want to do a full cup of cane sugar just cause, yeah. And then I didn't want to use all my honey. So I figured the best was to split it in half. We gotta get to juicing some lemons. I'm gonna have Ezzy do that. And then this is the little pitcher we're gonna put it in. Ezzy's just running all over. And then, I already have some water and then we just gotta add everything and oh yeah my freaking sourdough overflowed it rose significantly and uh, I don't even want to deal <laughs> with that right now so that's what we're getting into why are you guys bothering me <laughs> leave me whoa bro as I'm trying to help you how is that helping? You're about to break my leg. Sorry, I just have to do this because I have to pull you. <laughs> it's too hard. I have to pull you. But... Are you going to let me go or what? No, I'm not going to let you go. All right, listen. <laughs> Half a cup of sugar.
You gotta mix it around. Let the ice get it nice and cold. I'm kind of scared. This is the best. Why did you make it this sweet? It's good. I actually taste the honey. Yeah. Do you like it? No. How did you make it this sweet? This baby, we made it together. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, we got approvals from these two, even though she's saying it's super sweet. Sure, you're drinking it. She thought it was going to be sour. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's really good. I can imagine this. I was just telling Nathan, like, hot summer day and just making a fresh batch of lemonade. Mm. She's like obsessed, but yeah, good. I'll leave the recipe down below. Just unboxing our new uh, like fire pit. I'm working with this brand and it just came in today, so Nathan's just opening it up and we're gonna see where we're gonna have it and kind of how it works, but really excited to have that for the upcoming warm month, spending time outside. Good evening guys, it is now 7.34, it's later, and we are settling down, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know what that means. But Nathan just went out to go grab us some food because I am not cooking. I feel like I've been like oh. running around all day cleaning up paint, getting activities ready, making lemonade, cleaning up that mess cleaning all the fruit and produce from the farmer's market and the store. I feel like just really tired. So I didn't want to have to cook anything. Tomorrow we're going to my sister's house for Easter. Yeah. And I'm excited to eat there and to just be with family. And like let the kids have some fun. I think we did good today, just kind of getting in the spirit. And um, tomorrow morning I want to make Hopefully a nice little breakfast and then kind of just read over some scripture and go over what Easter means So as you can I've kind of already been talking to her about it, but you know just to read from the Bible And start I feel like she can start understanding and learning so that is the plan I don't want her to think that Easter is about eggs and bunnies and all that I want her to understand the resurrection Sunday and Jesus you remember Jesus died for our sins yeah. I you still have paint all on your hands. And your say, arm. And let's say down. We're going to end out this vlog and just have a nice mellow evening. I just want to make sure we're relaxing and getting ready for tomorrow because I know it'll be a long day and then we're back to Monday and back to the usual. So I just want to make sure that I don't feel like the whole weekend was just very busy and that Monday comes around and I'm <laughs> drained before the week even starts. So that's kind of where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I know this one was kind of short, but I just wanted to bring you guys along um, like a spring vlog, just a family spring vlog and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you are new again, subscribe down below if you like this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye. High five. <laughs> Bye guys. I told you she doesn't know what settling down is. <laughs> you don't tell her anything.